Hello. Today's tutorials or demo, I'm going to try to do, draw a tree in my style, my way. And I'd like to show you how to do it step by step. So maybe you can watch me and join me for this uh, video. And if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start with the bright green. That is, and so if you can, now you can see it kind of spreading. So again, I have a paper towel in my hand that helps me later to uh, use it for texture. Always clean my brush and then come back and use. So right now I used a lot of uh, that brown. leftover green right here so I can add some of that also so then it gives a really nice tones of uh, trunk there you go something like that And I'm using my brush right now to create another tones in here, going in between. You see, I'm kind of tapping on it, using the shape of the brush right now to create this kind of leaf sh shape looking. I'm gonna directly add some browns to it and some more green. I will clean it up eventually. So you can actually create some uh, and again, an older brush, when it fuzzy up like this, you can create this kind of uh, uh, texture. So again, this is really a dry a brush right now in my hand. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more in here and then I'm gonna actually wipe it off and try to soften some of the areas. So I'm gonna add it in between in here. Cause since it's like, um, almost like halfway um, closer to us trees. So you, you see some texture, but not a lot. Um, and again, I'm um, just showing you like maybe several techniques. You'll find your way after a while when you try uh, to paint. But when it gets closer, then you, you need to add some more detailings to it a little bit. If I have a little bit of that purple, I can add it right there in between. and. Just gonna soften a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a another tone and another accent color as long as i'm doing it kind of give it a in between uh, so not one just spot one area so give it another area also with that kind of uh, um, treatment of that color Again, that purple just for us to see. So you can make it more likely a grass green in here. And I'm keeping it with this shape, uh, with the size of the of the tree itself to give that tone of uh, of that color and kind of reflecting to the bottom of the, the tree. Uh, 
Hello and welcome back. This is the final finish um, tree that we worked with. And as you can see, um, I did a little bit of touch up for it using some pencil works, but actually what I use actually a marker, which I'm gonna bring it in here for you just to, uh, this is um, uh, so-called Molotov that I use just for white out. If there's any mistakes or anything like that, it's an acrylic base. So uh, we'll, show you that sometimes. But the main thing it's really just to see is the idea of showing uh, the, sh uh, the shadowing, starting from the light, mid-tone and darker, and it gets darker right here, uh, just right below um, the, uh, the, the, the leaves in the bottle. And as you can see, the trunks receive also some of that shadows and eventually right there in the bottom will have some reflections. So I use some more, uh, some of the pencils to use some a little bit more blues, some greens, just throw highlights in here to see that. And again, uh, it's really, uh, that's one way of doing this, just one style of work. You can do it simpler than that uh, by adding less texture. I add some more texture for the sake of uh, giving you some ideas of how, how to do it. So let's see, um, and I think that's all. The main thing is really just to uh, practice on it. Uh, if I was you, I would do it again. And I'll do it again myself too. And that will help me just to kind of do a different variation of it and improvise on it. So maybe next time we do so a fall tree or something like that using yellow, orange, and browns. And uh, that will give us another experience with that. So I hope you can join me for next sessions. And if you like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.